Welcome to Nielsen Guitars. Uh, this is my first bit of venture into YouTube. Um, I, yeah, this could be the first video, could be the last, um, could be the first and last. Or this could be the start of something big. Maybe you're watching this in 10, 15 years time when I am a uh, world famous luthier, who knows. But uh, as of now, I am sat at my dining room table, my very wobbly dining room table, as my two year old will keep telling me. Um, and I have invested some money in some kits, kit guitars, because you've got to start somewhere. Um, I've already assembled one kit guitar, uh, Les Paul. I am uh, an Oasis fan, so I modeled, well, styled it after the Epiphone um, Les Paul standard that Noel played in the early days of Oasis. Um, so hopefully you'll, I'll be able to get my movie to put some pictures up of that now. Um, and you can see how I tried to do a um, Cherry Sunburst uh, stain. But uh, that was four years ago and I have um, decided to buy, yeah, I bought three kit guitars from Gear for Music. They were uh, the previous Les Paul was from Gear for Music as well. And I am, yeah, I'm going to build three more guitars. So I thought I'd do an introduction and a little unboxing of them. Um, I must admit, I, I did already look at them. Um, I couldn't resist looking last night. Um, and the length of time it's taken to get this monstrosity of a setup um, with a webcam and a rubbish microphone set up. Um, I'm glad I had a look at them before. But anyway, I will try and act surprised. Um, but it also means you're not going to see me just, you know, poking through boxes uh, and trying to work out what's going on. So first one is a Seattle Jazz electric guitar. So this is a Jazz Master, a Jazz Master equivalent um, type. As you can see, it's not, you know, I've, I've already got my neck design um, in there so it's not I shouldn't have tried and wouldn't have tried to surprise you um, there is a pick guard it's a bit dusty there's a pick guard it's a bit of an ugly pick guard and I don't like the color so I feel like I'm going to end up changing that I think I would like this one to be white um, when I paint it whether Olympic white or I think Olympic white is the slightly off white or Arctic white which might be the pure white um, right so first things first the body the body of the guitar the body of the guitar so we have a body. Hang on, look, body is uh, one, two, three, four piece, four piece body. Um, yeah, it's very light, very light. I assume it's basswood, balsa wood. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's very light. Um, and yeah, the rooting looks okay. Um, I guess the next thing to try is the, is the neck to see whether the neck even fits. One of them, one of them doesn't fit so well. I don't think it's this one. I did try them all. But anyway, the neck's both numbered 40. They're both numbered the same. If I try and slot this one right in there, what do we get? That's a pretty good fit. It's a pretty good fit. Look, there we go. Like, ooh, hold it up. I mean, admittedly, the guitar's, guitar's light, but uh, I can hold it up with the with the neck on. It doesn't wobble around. Um, you've got your spatula head, so that's why the design is in the box. I'm gonna carve it to look like a jazz master top as close as I can get. Um, one thing I noticed when I did open this up yesterday is just the frets are pretty good. I don't know if I can bring... I don't know whether you're going to see this. Are you going to see this? Maybe. They're actually, compared to the Les Paul that I got four years ago, they are pretty good frets. They're not that sharp. I mean, the other ones were razor sharp. And when I ran my finger down, they make a little white marks on my, on my fingers. Um, yeah, they're actually quite good. Which is good. I mean, I'm looking forward to leveling and polishing, cleaning, and ending the frets. But I've uh, just spent a load of money with Crimson, uh, buying a load of files. But uh, looks like I mean, I still do it. But uh, yeah, they are pretty good. They're actually it's not that uncomfortable um, compared to yeah the one last year. There's a bit of bit of glue gunk. Mm, can you see that? I'm probably just gonna put something in view. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can see it. There's a bit of glue gunk up here. So it might be that the nut needs removal and just clean up the fretboard slightly. Um, yeah, there's a bit of glue spooge on the side. But yeah, I mean, things look straight. The holes look even. The neck fits. I assume the holes line up in the neck. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of bits. Bits. Probably cheapy pickups, cheapy plastic knobs that aren't even the same colour. <laughs> one is, one is off-ish white. The other is white. Maybe I'll pop in a photo of that there so you can see. Um, I'm not sure I like the off-white cover for the pickups there, if you can see that colour. But anyway, there's bits. Um, I'm going to assume they're all in there. They were the last time. And there's probably a, there's a guitar cable, which I think, uh, yeah, the instrument cable, which broke within moments, I think, of use when I did the last one. So 
that is a Jazzmaster kit, which I don't think I'm going to do first. I think the next one is the one I'm going to do first. Let's move the one out of the way. Excuse me for a second. So the one I'm planning on doing first, this one, which is, uh, da -da 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 -da. it is numbered 158, the neck and the body. Oops. Again, a very light, very light indeed. SG style, so yeah, a bit unusual. I've never really thought much about getting one or having one, but I saw it and I thought this looks quite nice. I think it would look nice. So this one, uh, thinking about with the black pick guard, let me find the pick guard. With the black pick guard, thinking about going for the dark, the very dark brown, the sort of natural finish, but then smoothed up. Um, yeah, so that's the body. That's the pick guard again, bag of bits. Same as the other one. Um, with the Les Paul, hopefully you'll have seen the picture by now. If my skills of editing are good, you'll have seen that. I didn't I didn't actually do anything to the headstock because I was too I wasn't brave enough. So with the headstock, I'll do the same thing again. Just the logo up here. I won't actually reshape it. I think it I quite like that. I, I'm not worried about a fiddly headstock. I think that one passes as a reasonable headstock, whereas the other one, the spade on the top of the other one, um, is a bit rubbish. I don't know about that, I wasn't expecting the black nut. I don't know about that. It's a slight chip or ding in the top of it there. Can you see that? Is that going to zoom in? Maybe. So yeah, it might need, uh, yeah, whether it's just plastic and it just needs knocking off and throwing away. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, there we go. Again, frets pretty good. Pretty good fret ends, which is just, yeah, there are, would you call them striations? I think they might, the posh term for it might be striations. A few little scratches in the top of the, top and sides of well, the sides of the frets. So again, and that'll come with just polishing, sanding and polishing. Um, yeah, how does the neck fit? Neck fits. Ooh, yeah, not bad at all. I think this one is slightly looser than the other one, but it still holds. I mean, the body is light. There's, there's a little wobble. Could probably do with a little finishing. I can see a slight gap. See a slight gap there. If I can show you, will you see that? Who knows? The shadow might be wrong. I don't know. There's a tiny gap. Maybe I can put a photo of that up there. So yeah, not bad. Um, not bad again. Bits, bag of bits. Um, that's that one. And the final one, which is the one I chose. I shouldn't talk past the mic because I don't know whether you're going to hear that. Oh, you've gone out of focus. Right. Which is the one that, again, I've got a Telecaster um, headstock design. Um, yeah, it's the Telecaster. Now, the Gift Music, off the Gift Music offer two. They offer you a. Uh, oh, they offer the normal Knoxville, um, and they offer this one, which is the Ash Body Knoxville. Um, so this one is heavier. This one feels much heavier than the um, the other two kits. Um, yeah, you know, black pick guard. I quite like that. This one I'm thinking of going for the. Oh, it'd be the butterscotch. I guess the darker yellow, naturalish finish. Um, then probably finish it off with oil, just to darken it a bit more. So maybe keep it quite light yellow. But that's you know the bodies are smooth. Then they're going to need sanding. I couldn't expect them to sand them down. So nice. I think the big disappointment with this one, when I did unwrap it yesterday, was how loose the neck was. And the spade. We've got a nice spade there. And then we've got a bit of, a bit of glue mark there. Um, but the necks, the necks are also quite smooth, as well as being, um, yeah, quite smooth. Smooth for the next smooth back. That's quite nice. Um, Phone just anyway, you get the neck in the pocket there, and as you can see, that's not that is not holding. I'm not able to lift the guitar with it, and the neck is wiggling. Um, let me turn it so you can see how much it wiggles, which is not good. So I think looking at the neck and the straightness, I think there's a little gap just down here on the underside as I would be playing it, and so I think it's going to need a little shim. Whether it whether it's wiggling around in the, the base of the pocket and possibly the pit guard is moving around so I haven't taken the pit guard up it comes with the pit guard on so maybe that needs to be removed um, and tidied up but yeah so there might need to be a shim or something in there just squidged in um, yeah and the net uh, so you know pretty good pretty good stuff I mean, I'm impressed reasonably impressed for what was it uh, 290 I think for the three um, yeah and you've got a bag of bits for controls and things um, yeah it's not Unfortunately, it's not a telly style jack, if you can see that. I'm going to turn that out of the light. It's a, more of a Les Paul, you know, the, the kind of 
side mount jack. So whether we can do something about that, because the holes are already drilled, so whether that needs filling, um, filling around there, and then can put a proper, a proper telly style socket in there. I don't know, but uh, I'm sure, well, hopefully we'll find out on video. Um, my laptop is saying it's gonna run out of battery. I didn't plug it in. See how I am new to this YouTube and recording video game. Um, hopefully the sound is all right. I've got a little mic down here. Um, yeah, that's it really. So yeah, if I, uh, well, let's try, man, I will try editing this video, um, see whether I can get it up. And if it works, maybe you'll see this video, maybe you won't. Um, those are the kits, uh, but I think I'll start with the SG and yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll probably end up um, connecting it all together and stringing it up, putting the two strings in, just checking everything straight with the first port of call. Um, but for now, I'm going to stop this because, yeah, otherwise I'm going to run out. Oh, possibly, possibly of disk space. Disc space. I'm looking at my laptop here, um, and it's using up 1080p. Apparently, uses up quite a lot of disk space very quickly. So I will uh, pause this here and. Yeah, hopefully I'll come back with another video, otherwise it's gonna be like a blog post, you know, where I say, this is my series of blog posts. Um, and that's it, that's the, the one blog post five years ago, um, never to be repeated. So yeah, hopefully see you in the next episode.